Hello everybody, my name is Steve Gledhill. I'm uh, one of the uh, pastors here, but I'm also one of the youth leaders. And it's my privilege today to uh, baptize three teenagers, um, a brother and sister, and uh, a good friend. So, um, and they're good friends too, of course. Yeah, absolutely. But let me tell you what baptism is. <laughs> baptism is not a thing you do to gain favor with God so that you can go to heaven. Baptism is an act of obedience and a testimony to what's already happened inside the heart yeah. of uh, somebody who knows Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. So, uh, Samantha and Thomas both have submitted testimonies. We worked them out. They are, they are sure that they are believers in Jesus Christ. They've made professions of faith. And um, Braden um, is also here. And uh, Braden Whitmore is my good friend. We've been uh, meeting every week for the last few couple months. And uh, he's here, and he's also professed faith in Christ. And they're going public today to uh, tell everybody here that they are followers of Christ and that they have dedicated their lives to God's purpose in their life. So, first one is going to be Samantha, and Samantha's going to read her testimony that she developed here. And um, Samantha, go right ahead. Before I accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior, life was always a struggle, like carrying the weight of my problems on my shoulders everywhere I went. At a revival meeting at a local church, I heard the gospel with my mom and brother. It all hit me on what I was missing all in my life. I knew I needed Jesus to change my life and that he was with me every step of my journey. That's when I believed he died for me to take away my sin. I believe he rose from the dead. I asked Jesus to save my soul. Is that an I or a one? First <laughs> John 5, 11 through 13. And this is what God has testified. He has given us eternal life and this life is in his son. Whoever has the son of, whoever has the son has life. Whoever does not have God's Son does not have life. I have written this to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know you have eternal life. This is how I know I am a Christian and that I have eternal life. Since believing the gospel, things have changed. One night I suffered a panic attack that was so severe I couldn't take it. I closed my, my eyes and prays, I prayed. I got vulnerable and opened myself to God. I handed my problems to God and He took them for me. He was there. He was there and took my panic away. My panic disappeared and didn't come back for days. His love for me helps me to keep fighting and I enjoy help. His love for me helps me keep fighting and I enjoy my life. Mark 19:26 says, "But God beheld their thoughts and said upon them, with man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible." I knew that he would be there for me and help me out of this battle that I thought was impossible to win. This verse helps me live my life and keep moving forward. I know God is there to help me out of even the hardest battles or obstacles. His love is stronger than anything in the world. Awesome. Okay, Samantha. Hop in. Hop in. <laughs> oh my God, don't wear thighs. <laughs> okay, oh. sit down. You need on some my help? knees? No, or on your rear. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, grab my arm. Okay. This is Samantha Garnish. I baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, buried in the likeness of his death, raised in the likeness of his resurrection. Take your time. Take your time. All right, Thomas, where are you? Come on, Thomas. I might not take up myself. Okay. Is that real? Yes. I was invited by Scott Jackson to Seawalk Church. Then I was invited to the City Students Bowling Alley by Bully Party. That was when I started attending City Students. Three weeks ago, Pastor Josh gave me the gospel in a young meeting. I knew my sins were a barrier between me and God. I realized I need my sins forgiven. When Pastor Josh asked me to pray to believe that Jesus died for, for my sins, and then he raised from the dead, I asked Jesus to save my soul. 1 Corinthians 5, 3 through 4 says, I passed on to you what passed on to you what was most important and what has what had also been passed on to me. Christ died for my sins, just as the scripture says, he was buried and he was raised from the dead on my on the third day, just as scripture said. Since 
since trusting Jesus as my savior, my life has been changing. My vocabulary is changing. I don't use any bad words. I love being, I love being with other Christians and I want to help others to know Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's great. Hey, step right in there. I'm going to take my socks. Know. Okay, you want to about your watch? You, no, it's okay. It's, it's okay. Waterproof. Okay. Your <laughs> eye is cold. Sit on your butt. <laughs> Grab my hands. He went so much. This is Thomas Garnish. Thomas, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of his death, raised in the likeness of his resurrection. <laughs> All right, this is Chris Daddy. He's going to read uh, Braden's testimony for us. Braden, we're really proud of you. Braden asked me to read his testimony today, and he, uh, he writes, Before I knew Christ, I was busy chasing wealth and worldly things. Going to church was very optional to, optional to me, and I saw no value in reading the Bible. I was constantly trying to fit in with my friends and the culture. But during a uh, New Year's resolution school project, I looked around my room and suddenly I felt drawn to read the Bible as, that was on my nightstand. It was in this book that I reached the most life-changing message. And uh, I'm going to quote 1 Corinthians 15 for you. It says, It is this good news that saves you if you continue to believe the message I told you. Unless, of course, you believe something that was never true in the first place. I passed on to you what was most important and what has also been passed on to me. Christ died for our sins, just as the scriptures said. He was buried, he was raised from the dead on the third day, just as the scriptures said. That's when I believed the gospel and asked Jesus to save my soul. That's awesome. Today, I no longer chase after those worldly things, but instead, I'm eager to be a Christ-like example to those around me. I don't openly cuss or swear or listen to the vulgar music. My lifestyle has changed, and I'm even considering becoming a pastor. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. All right. All right. Oh, my goodness. This is cold. All right. Well, I'm the last one. So All in, man. Oh, my goodness. Are you guys supposed to preheat this thing? Braden Whitmore. <laughs> Grab my hand. Oh, okay. Well, sir. Three times. Braden man. Whitmore. Two times out. <laughs> As a testimony of your faith in Jesus Christ, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried in the likeness of his death, raised in the likeness of his resurrection. All right. Now, uh, I, got, I, I looked up a really cool quote, and we're going to be done in just a second, but I wanted to share it with you. Um, Hold on a second, I'll get it. Yeah. Tony Campolo, I don't know if anybody knows who he is, but he said this. In baptism, new Christians become a part of the body of fellow believers who are called to spiritual encouragement to one another and hold another responsible for consistent Christian living. So as I pray, I want you to commit, some of you can commit to praying for these young people. Just pray for them whenever you think about their names. Thomas, um, Samantha. Samantha, and Braden. Remember their names and pray for them. And if you see them in church, ask them how their life is going in Christ. And challenge them to keep living for Him. they got a long way to go in their walk with God, and we can all be part of helping them. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this time. I thank you for these testimonies, and I thank you for the, the uh, example they are to other believers. I pray you make yourself real in their lives as they depart on this good journey of professing their faith to the other believers. And I pray that you would help them to be the witnesses they want to be in their community. Thank you for what you're doing in our lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for coming. We'll see you again.